Hi everyone, my name is Chok. Uh, some of you may have seen me from my previous videos already. I'm an Active Health Coach from uh, Active Health in Active SG. Today we're going to do lower body mobility. All right? So this, today's session is not going to be too strenuous. In fact, uh, your heart rate isn't going to get up too much. But uh, once we get a bit older, especially if we are quite active, right? We are going to, we're going to have a bit of uh, joint and muscle stiffness. So today's, today's uh, session is really just more like, you know, getting the lower body to get, getting a bit more mobility into the lower body just so that we can continue to enjoy our, you know, being active into our later years. All right. So we're going to start with a simple warm up. All right. Uh, we're going to start with a squat. Very simple. We're just going to go down like this and up. Okay, I'll show you the side view. Okay, just down and up. All right, don't let your knees go beyond your toes. All right, just as you go down, sit into your imaginary chair and up. Okay, so squat is a very good exercise to do. It, gives, uh, it helps strengthen our lower body and our hips. And this will help us with our, a lot of our daily functions. So doing the warm-up essentially is going to help us to bring our heart rate up. As we move the muscles uh, and the heart pumps blood through, the muscles are going to loosen up and warm up. All right, this prepares us for um, essentially to prepare us for the more, it's like a milder, milder version of the movements that we're going to do during the exercise. Okay? The next exercise we're going to do is called a hurdle over and under. Okay, essentially just imagine for the lower body, we're going to cross over like so, and then we're going to duck under. Okay, so this is going to open up our hips, crossing over like so, okay, and then ducking under. And over, and under. So as I said, as we get older, uh, you know, hips and all get stiffer. So it's nice to make sure we can open up. So in our daily activities, whether it's housework, climbing the stairs, or going hiking, it's going to be, if we have that additional flexibility, it's going to be easier to perform these movements. Okay. And over. And under. All right, so now we're going to do the third movement. This is a very simple one. Because we sit so much, our hamstrings, which is our back thigh muscles, they tend to get really tight. So we're just going to do a simple exercise called good mornings. Well, a warm up. So we're just going to keep legs relatively straight, depending on how flexible you are. In my case, my hamstrings are really, really tight. So I'm going to have a slight bend in my knees and back up. But as you go down, you should feel a nice stretch through your hamstrings. And I uh, forgot to mention a very important point. Remember to uh, breathe. Whether you're doing a warm-up, your cool-down or the exercise. All right? When we hold our breaths, right, the blood pressure builds up in our system. So we don't want to do that. Okay, and up. And last one. Okay, we're just going to take a slight break now before we start the exercise. Uh, I want to mention if you are not feeling well, please uh, you know, sit out, um, listen to your body and rest. Very important as well, even though you're indoors, to wear shoes. Okay, because uh, some of the exercise you do, especially like the cardio sessions and all, where there's a bit of like jumping and landing, you want to make sure that your feet are cushioned, right? To prevent injuries in your feet. Okay, and we're going to start the first exercise now. All right, also make sure that the area around you is clutter-free. All right, so we're going to go into a side lunge and down. So we're going to stretch this out, right? Up and down. Right, really feel the stretch here. Okay, if you have, if your knee is really hurting or uh, you just feel really, really stiff, right? Then just go down halfway. Just make sure you feel the stretch here 
Uh, that's the most important thing. If you, if not, then all the way down as far as you can go, like so. All right, this is a really good exercise to stretch out your inner thigh muscles, the groin. Okay, very good. The next one we're going to do is called, uh, it's a bit similar to the hurdle one that we did. Okay, so we're going to externally rotate the leg out like so and go into a squat. Okay, and then the other side and squat. Okay, so we're opening it up, making sure we get the hip mobility and we're going to go as low as you can go. Alright, so once again, if you've got pain or mobility issues, we can just do a half squat. Show the side view. Okay, if you can, if you can squat, go all the way down, like so. If not, just halfway, like you're sitting into a high chair. Okay? So as always, remember to breathe, all right? So as you come up, just a nice, slow exhale. Okay? Okay, so just take a quick break, have a little bit of water, and we'll start in the next exercise in about half a minute, okay? So remember, it's very important uh, to keep our muscles uh, our muscles and our joints loose so that because when they're tight they, you are more likely to have joint injuries or muscle strains okay then when your muscle strains then you have to you have to take a break and get away from exercise and then try and get your fitness fitness back again after that all right so just um yeah so these are some things to be mindful of because what we want is to enjoy enjoy exercise into our later years and it's going to be every time we as we get older every time we get injured it's going to be more and more difficult to come back all right so the next exercise is called a figure four single leg squat so it's a bit of a balance exercise on one leg and it's going to help to stretch out our hip on the other so we're just going to go down and up so okay if you find that this exercise is a bit hard to do, then do it against the wall. Then you can use your hand for a bit of support, like so. And up. And down. And up. Okay? Just like so. Remember, just onto a wall. If not, you can just put your hands like so. Okay, so uh, this is very beneficial because it provides balance for this leg and it's really going to help to loosen up your butt muscle on the other side. Okay, so in my case, it feels quite tight, so there's a bit of clicking at the moment. So I should be doing this more often. Okay, so now we're just going to take a bit of a break. Uh, so your foot, the foot that you're balancing on might be a little bit sore, so just kind of walk it off a little bit. Alright, so once you've caught your breath a bit, you've gathered yourself, then we're going to go over the other leg now. Oh, sorry. This way. Okay? And hands across chest, and go. Okay, I'll show you how the side view. So it's the same as a squat, all right? We don't want the knee to go forward too much. We're just going to lead with our hips and sit. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, sit and up. So this movement should be very slow and controlled. And just remember, if you need to get some support, you can hold on to your imaginary wall. Well, I mean, it's my imaginary wall, but you hold on to an actual wall. Alright, very good. So, let's take a short break. 
drink some water first. Okay, and now we're going to do our next exercise. For this one, you're going to need a chair. So this exercise is really to help to loosen up the front of your hips. Okay, I'll show you all the front view first. It's what, and it also helps if you've got really tight back. So you're just going to step on the chair. Hmm. Let's see if we can adjust that angle. Like so. Pop this leg back a little bit. And then you just lean forward with this knee. Okay? So the idea is to go until you can feel a bit of a stretch. Then just stay there. Okay, so this isn't like performing uh, repetitions per se. Okay, you're just going to go there and just move forward and backward slightly until until uh, you know it starts to feel more relaxing then you go forward even more okay just really open up that hip okay so for those of you who've got who've got uh you know like like if hip stiffness obviously but even things like lower back pain and all this is a very good stretch to provide relief I mean, I've done it for myself and uh, I've taught this to quite a few of my participants and uh, they've all given very good feedback about this. All right, I'll move around a bit. Now we're going to go to the other leg. Just show you like that. Okay, I'll do a more side view so you can see. Like so. Alright, pop the leg back and then lead forward with the knee. And you should be feeling the stretch in the opposite hip. Alright, I'll just show from this angle. So you do it like that, you should be feeling the stretch here. Okay? And go forward. Okay, just go forward until you feel a bit of a tension. Then you just rock back and forth a little bit. Okay? And at this point, when it starts to loosen up, then you move forward a little bit more. Okay, so this this uh, this particular stretch, right? Uh, I mentioned like it provides a lot of relief for lower back and, and hip tightness. So you can do this several times a day. You don't just have to do it once. You can do it when you wake up. You can do it in the middle of the day and then in the evening as well. All right, we're going to come to the last exercise of the set. Allow me to just wipe my perspiration first. Okay, so the next exercise is called Good Morning into Full Extension. All right, essentially what that's going to do is to loosen up our hamstrings and lower back, and then later we're going to stretch up. Okay, so the front view is like this. We're going to go, oops, down. All right, feel, really feel the stretch in the back of your thighs and go all the way up. Okay, and down. And all the way up. Okay, side view. And up. Down and up. Just two or three more. Okay. So, like, this session is really not designed to get your heart rate up and do all the fat burning stuff and all, but it's a very important. It's a very important addition to, to all the exercises that we do. So now we're going to take a short break and come back in one minute. Just stay tuned and go get some water now. Thank you very much.
Hey, welcome back everyone. I hope you, uh, you've hydrated properly and everyone's feeling fine. So like I said, today's session is uh, quite relaxing. So, but whatever the case, if you know you feel, listen to your body, if you're feeling any pain and things like that, just take it easy. It's your body's way of telling you that you probably need some rest. All right, so we're gonna start our second set right now. Okay, and remember the first exercise. We're just gonna go out, stretch down, touch the floor. All right, and up. And down. Okay, feel the stretch through your the back of your thigh and your inner thigh. Okay, just nice and slow. So when we're doing stretching movements, right, you don't wanna you don't wanna go like really fast or something, okay? Because that sudden pull and everything, if your muscle is cold, it might lead to a muscle strain. And that could take anywhere from one to six weeks to recover. Nice and slow. And rest. Okay, I'm just gonna have my towel because I happen to perspire a lot. Just need to dab the perspiration. Okay, so remember what our next exercise is? Okay, we're gonna kick out go into a squat. Alright, remember if it's very difficult for you for whatever reason, then just go into a half squat and let's go to side view. Out. And squat. And out. And squat. So remember, squats are a very important exercise. Our legs basically are our vehicles. If our legs work, we can run, we can go hiking, we can go for our tours and everything. Once they don't work, our quality of life decreases. All right, now we're gonna move on to the next exercise. Remember, it's the figure four. And we're gonna cross our legs like so. And go, keep our hands on our shoulders. Okay, remember to feel the stretch through your butt. Ooh. <laughs> so remember, balancing on one leg and doing this is too difficult. You're gonna hold the wall and go down. Okay, nice and slow. Anything to do with, like I said, balance or stretching, the no rushed movements. Alright, we'll do a quick 15 minute rest and then we'll move on to the other leg. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the other leg. Show the side view. Remember, it's like a squat, so we're going to sit. Okay, so balance is something that uh, I cannot stress enough. It's important for everyone, uh, especially so as we get older, okay? Because a lot of times, a lot of, uh, a lot of ailments happen after falls, all right? So once you fall, um, you don't always start eating less and everything. So your blood pressure and blood sugar might go up, your weight might go up because you can't move as much, all right? So as much as possible, Make sure our balance is good, our legs are strong so that we don't have to contend with these things which, like I said, as we get older, it's more and more difficult to bounce back from. Alright, very good. So, we're going to do the next exercise now. Okay, hip mobilization with the chair. Okay, remember one leg up like that. Pop this leg back a bit and lean forward leading with this knee. So we're gonna feel the stretch here, okay? So once we get to the point where there's a bit of tension already, then we're just going to move slowly back and forth.
Okay. All right, once that starts to, you can feel like it's opening up a bit more, then we move forward a little bit. So it's not just age, it's because we spend so much time uh, seated, especially in an aircon room and everything, our joints and muscles get really, really, really tight. So it's important, first of all, to be active, move around. Okay, and the other is do stuff like that where we stretch out our joints and our muscles. Okay, and once we're done, just relax for a bit. Okay, we're going to do the other side. And stretch. Okay, I know like these these are not like the most exciting kind of moves to do. Um, yeah, you know like everyone wants to be doing like CrossFit or cardio or something. And that's totally understandable, but um, th think of this more in terms of like insurance. Uh, you're just trying to, you know, prevent yourself from getting injured. Okay, so remember, once you get past a certain, once it gets loosened up a bit, stretch a bit more. Okay. So we're going to do the final exercise again. Remember, it's good mornings with full extension. I'll do a diagonal view. So we're going to go down. Feel the stretch. Extend all the way up. Okay. Feel the stretch. Move all the way up. All right, we're just going to do three more. And up. Last one. Very good. All right, let's all take five, get a sip of water. We're gonna do the cool down now. All right, very important. I've mentioned this in my videos before, but it's always very, I, I feel like it's a message that needs to be repeated. Um, when we're healthy, it's easy to like not cool down and everything because our bodies can handle it. But you know, for people who've got like blood pressure, blood sugar issues, we always try and ease the body back into a resting state. So the first what thing we're gonna do is a breathing exercise. You just feel for your ribs, all right? And then breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay, in through the nose and out through the mouth. So when you breathe through your nose, right, it actually, it actually stimulates a nerve in there and it helps to bring down your heart rate and your blood pressure, okay? So as you breathe in, feel your ribs rise. And as you breathe out, feel them go back down again. All right, the next one we're going to do is a chest stretch. Okay, we can do it like that. Or if you have a wall, you can just hold the wall and stretch like so. Okay, so as with all stretches, get to the point of tension and just hold it there. As you, as your muscle, you know, feels a bit more relaxed, you will automatically stretch out even more. Okay, then once you're done with one side, then do the other. Okay, and then turn. So if your hand is out this way, turn your body the other way to get the stretch. Alright, very good. The next thing we're going to do is a quad stretch. Quad is your front thigh, right? So we're just going to grab it. If you have problem balancing, you can hold the wall. If you say, hey, but Chuck, you know, I can't even grab my ankle, you know, it's just too stiff. You can lie down on the floor. Wrap the towel against your leg like that. And stretch like so. Alright, so you just use the towel to give you that extra bit of length to stretch out your quads. Okay, let me wipe my sweat first. Okay, the next stretch we're gonna do is for hamstrings. Okay, very important. Because we sit, because we sit so much, right? The hamstring is perpetually in a shortened state. So that can lead to knee and back problems. So we're just going to do it like so and slide your hand down. 
Okay, then as the muscle relaxes a bit, you'll be able to, you'll find that your hand will automatically go a bit lower. Okay, once you're done, go with the other leg. Try and hold each stretch for 30 seconds. Obviously, in the interest of time, I'm not doing all of them for the full duration. Okay, another important muscle to stretch is our calf. So, just keep both feet flat on the ground. Once you do that, you just go forward and you'll be able to feel the stretch there. Okay, so sometimes when you get, you know, and when you hear people complain like they've got heel pain, you know, it's very painful when they wake up in the morning. Tight calves do contribute to, to this problem, so it's not a bad idea to get into the habit of stretching your calves out. Very good. So now for our final stretch, I'm going to grab the chair again. So this is going to stretch out our butt muscles again. All right. So it's similar to the one, the exercise that we did, except now we don't have to squat. We're just going to cross our legs like the coffee shop uncle and lean forward. Okay. Once you lean forward like that, you should be able to feel the stretch at the bottom of your butt and a bit of your the top of your hamstring. So for those of those of us, I was gonna say those of you, but those of us, because sometimes my back gets a bit sore as well. This is a good stretch to, to relieve that soreness. Okay, so we've come to the end of the workout. I hope you found it, well, useful anyway. Uh, if you are like me and you sort of are dealing with chronic tightness in your, your, your uh, muscles and your joints are a little bit stiff and everything, you will really benefit from doing these exercises, okay? Um, just think of it as prolonging the, the, your active life. All right, so thank you so much for joining me today. Stay safe wash your hands and uh, yeah, try and stay sane till this whole coronavirus thing is over. Thank you very much.